Right now, COVID-19 is moving through the world and the worldwide economy gives off an impression of being crumbling. This, truly, is one of those seasons of distress, a period when our lives are overturned and loaded up with vulnerability. Be that as it may, as an ever-increasing number of individuals change in accordance with life in isolate, we are beginning what's turning into a worldwide social analysis. Thoughts that we just discussed in the prior years are being placed without hesitation on a gigantic scale. This will be a troublesome time, but at the same time it's heading off to the flash of some unfathomable changes. Before COVID-19, just 7% of American specialists had the alternative to telecommute. That doesn't imply that 7% were telecommuting, it just implies that 93% of Americans were informed that it could never be an option. Today, telecommuting is a need. There are no hard measurements on what number of individuals are working remotely around the globe, however the organization Cisco has said that, in China, their video conferencing programming has been considering 22 to be as a lot of traffic as it did before the outbreak. The world is occupied with a worldwide work from home examination, and we're going to see direct exactly how reasonable it is. There are as of now concentrates on this, and the outcomes are certain. One found that individuals telecommuting have 16. 8 more days worth of profitability a year. Those examines have consistently been out there, however on the off chance that businesses see the outcomes direct for themselves, there will be no denying that letting individuals keep telecommuting after the pandemic is over won't send them out of business. And that could be amazing for our life fulfillment. The normal drive to work has expanded by 20 minutes over the previous decade, and specialists state that those 20 minutes influence work fulfillment as much as a 19% cut in pay. A couple of months prior, widespread fundamental pay appeared to be an unrealistic fantasy. Sending each individual in a nation a month-to-month -month check, regardless of whether they don't go to work, was beginning to manifest on the odd battlefield, yet in many nations, it didn't seem like anything we'd perceive whenever soon. But for the following scarcely any months, it will be a reality. The United Kingdom has focused on paying 80% of its laborers' salaries, while Denmark has offered to pay upward to 90%. And even the United States is anticipating sending a $1,200 check to pretty much every grown-up American. None of these plans are actually equivalent to general fundamental salary, however they're close. They're going to viably be dry trials on how these approaches truly influence society. It's too soon to state what the outcome will be. Finland attempted all-inclusive essential pay in 2017 and 2018 and presumed that it left individuals upbeat yet jobless, which may be what we find in the remainder of the world, also. Yet, somehow, these discussions will be much less hypothetical when the pandemic is finished. One of the areas COVID-19 has hit the hardest is fabricating. Anybody working in a production line is an unbelievably predicament. Working remotely isn't an alternative when you work with your hands, yet for certain processing plants, nor is staying home. But for supposed lights out industrial facilities that are worked altogether by robots, an ailment isn't even a problem. Companies that utilization more computerization are now showing improvement over those that depend on packing human laborers into a firmly stuffed factory, and organizations are beginning to take note. Kaha Robotics, for instance, has said that they've seen a 25% expansion in requests in the previous 30 days alone. We can anticipate that a great deal of assembling organizations should go to robotization to endure, and a ton of different organizations, too. China has just begun supplanting conveyance drivers with drones, and they're detailing that they're quicker and more secure than human workers. They've even explored different avenues regarding mechanical hospitals, where machines take your temperature, convey your dinners, and clean your space to shield people from coming into contact with somebody conveying a disease. By the time this pandemic is finished, your activity might conceivably have been filled by a robot. Schools are closing down in about each nation that has seen an episode of COVID-19, and that is driving guardians into educators into an entirely different period of education. For the following barely any months, web-based learning will be the standard. Regardless of how well informed your instructor is, they will need to figure out how to make training digital. Based on early responses, it's impossible that we'll see boundless appropriation of online instruction when this is finished. Criticism from educators, up until now, has been all around negative. The serious issue is that web-based learning mixes disadvantages. 
Children whose guardians don't have the opportunity to push them on their instruction fall further behind, while the individuals who can't manage the cost of web get are totally excluded. Still, each instructor on the planet is getting a compressed lesson in 21st century learning. They're ensured to return with thoughts that will change how our children learn. At least, for the children that return. A great deal of guardians are going to homeschooling, and since self-taught kids ordinarily score higher on government-sanctioned tests than kids in open schools, there's a decent possibility that a ton of those guardians will choose to stay with it. There are no libertarians in a pandemics, Meghan McCain as of late said. Whether that is something worth being thankful for or not is up to discuss, however positive or negative, there's a great deal of motivation to accept that it's valid. Around the globe, individuals have been grasping huge government since the time COVID-19 started to spread. Socialist arrangements are being executed all around the globe, even in nations drove by preservationist and libertarian pioneers. The US government is anticipating burning through $1 trillion. Battling COVID-19, while the United Kingdom's Boris Johnson has said that there's no roof to the amount they'll spend. Big government's creation a rebound, and in certain spots, it's in truly outrageous ways. The Israeli government has begun utilizing its kin's mobile phone area information to distinguish everybody who has interacted with a tainted patient. If you've been close to them, you'll get a book instructing you to isolate yourself immediately. McCain's being hyperbolic, obviously. There are still libertarians, however their voices are being quieted. Also, regardless of whether hands-off government returns style when this is finished, there will undoubtedly be a couple of bills passed that, before COVID-19, never would have endured. On April 15, with a pandemic desolating their nation, the individuals of South Korea will need to arrange outside of stalls and cast their votes in the 2020 election. It will be a tremendous issue, and the nation hasn't generally had the opportunity to respond. Up until this point, their answer is terrible. They will expect voters to wear covers and expendable gloves, and they're going to check everybody's temperatures previously permitting them to enter. It will be a calamity. We can depend on the voter turnout being appalling, and it will be a reminder for the remainder of the world. It's particularly going to influence the United States, where primaries are as of now in progress and a government political race is planned for November. Americans will need to change their democratic standards this year, and we can anticipate that those progressions should be permanent. Two in three Americans as of now state they're stressed over democratic in person, and some are as of now battling for change. Texas Democrats have recorded a claim for the option to cast a ballot via mail, while different states are urging individuals to solely mail in their ballots. Which could be incredible for vote-based system. At the point when Utah presented casting a ballot via mail, they saw a 7% expansion in voter turnout. A great deal of organizations are being hit hard at the present time, however no one as hard as bars and restaurants. France, Spain, Italy, Germany and the United Kingdom are only a couple of nations that have closed down all bars and restaurants, and, in nations that haven't ordered it, scarcely any individuals are deciding to go out for drinks. For the following barely any months, these organizations and their representatives will be deprived of any income stream that doesn't originate from the legislature. A great deal of them won't be ready to endure it. J. P. Morgan predicts that the normal private company may have the option to endure 27 days of this before going bankrupt. That's going to change the substance of our reality, in light of the fact that, while a ton of nearby bars won't endure, the large organizations are going to persevere. When individuals get a craving to go going out on the town once more, and when servers begin searching for work once more, the enormous chains will even now be there. McDonald's will endure the hardship, and that will reshape our world. Currently, about half of Americans work for little businesses. But when this is finished, that rate will most likely be a ton lower. COVID-19 couldn't possess come at a more awful energy for China. They were in a ruthless exchange war, and COVID-19 has made things a great deal worse. Up up to this point, the world has depended on China as its assembling center. They produce 20% of the world's goods, more than some other nation on Earth, and they have a much greater job in social insurance. 90% of America's anti-infection agents originate from China. But as China has gone under isolate and has battled to keep up its pace, it's become progressively clear exactly that it is so perilous to depend on a solitary area to supply the world. 
The world is battling with a lack of ventilators and face veils, and it's simply not doable to depend on China to deal with it all alone, particularly when they've been probably the hardest nation hit. Several nations are as of now beginning to bring fabricating again into their own fringes, while others are looking at spreading out their assembling to a few diverse places. Right now, we truly must choose between limited options. We will need to begin depending on different nations for assembling, and that is going to hurt China long after the pandemic is finished. After the Spanish flu of 1918, nations around the globe, creator Laura Spinney says, grasped the idea of associated medicine. It was one of the enduring effects of the last extraordinary worldwide pandemic. Individuals began to understand that the strength of the poor influenced everybody, and the primary conversations that would prompt all inclusive medicinal services began. There are just a bunch of nations that don't have all inclusive social insurance today, and one created country, yet this could be the minute that drives the remainder of the world into free healthcare. 41% of Americans as of now state that they are bound to help general human services in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, and strategies appear to push that way, too. The U.S. has just swore to let individuals get tried for the coronavirus free of charge, and a few lawmakers are pushing to make treatment free, as well. If treatment isn't made free before the pandemic's finished, we're certain to see more individuals requesting it. A few people have been returning home with bills as high as $35,000 for treatment, and it is highly unlikely that those individuals won't wind up requesting changes. COVID-19 is hitting our well-being hard, however it's hitting our economy considerably harder. As indicated by experts at J. P. Morgan Chase. There is never again question. We currently believe that the COVID-19 stun will create a worldwide recession. A parcel of individuals will lose their positions. That examiner predicts that 400,000 Americans will get jobless in the following barely any weeks alone. What's more, before this is finished, it could be much more dreadful. Another examiner accepts that, before this over, 7.4 million individuals in the relaxation and cordiality industry will be unemployed. It's poor people who will be hit hardest of all. While office laborers will be ready to work remotely from home, it'll for the most part be servers and distribution center specialists that endure this present pandemic. That will be agonizing, however as Scheidel stated, equity was just at any point delivered in sorrow. We will gain so much from this experience, and once we recognize what the genuine exercise of COVID-19 is, individuals will be requesting change. Specialists are as of now anticipating an upheaval. One that investigator Kathy O'Neill has portrayed as involve Wall Street too. Zero inches. COVID-19 is going to scrutinize us, yet when that test is finished, we will have a superior comprehension of the splits in our social orders. Furthermore, in case we're fortunate, our reality very well might end up a superior spot.